Maps are the most important part of the review process as they give an overview of the structure of the spreadsheet and what you'll see later is that what we are looking for is inconsistencies. What we have here is a typical spreadsheet with some input cells, some calculations and an output. What we want to do is run the maps to get an idea of what it looks like using the map tool. There are two ways to run the map report in Spreadsheet Professional. The first way and the way I recommend is to click on the test button and click on spreadsheet test reports tool and this box will pop up. You'll see you've got an option of running a number of reports and in this case I'm going to switch the maps on and switch off these last two reports for now. It also asks you what it must run the report on so you can run it on all your sheets, on selected sheets or just a selected area. And in this case I'm going to run it on the selected sheets and when I push OK the map is generated. Another way to run the map report is to click on document under spreadsheet documenter. And what you'll see the same box pops up just with different um, reports ticked, in this case it's the maps but in all aspects it's exactly the same, you choose your area and you run the tool by clicking OK. The question is, what do these symbols mean? You've got N's, L's, F's, less than sign, a plus sign and a little cuppy sign. Here we have a legend for what the symbols mean. So what you'll see it tells you is that the L represents a label or text. The N is a number of some sort. An F represents a unique formula. A less than sign means it's a copy of the cell to the left. So it's a copy of that cell. A little copy means it's a copy of the cell above. And a plus sign means it's a copy of the cell above and to the left. Let's now go to the actual spreadsheet and compare it to the map generated. So if in the map we look at cell A1 and we see an L for label, and we go to the spreadsheet and click in cell A1, you'll see that that cell contains some sort of text. It's a label cell. If we look on the map again and we look at a cell that shows an N, such as cell E3, we go to the spreadsheet and we click in E3, you'll see that the contents of E3 is a number, a 30% in this case. Looking at the F or unique formulas, if we look at the map, let's say cell F18, which represents an F, we go to the spreadsheet, and we look in that same cell, you'll see that that cell consists of some sort of formula where there's an equal sign and then something happening afterwards. Now if we look at the less than sign, which means that this cell is an exact copy of the one to the left. So if we look at G17, we go to G17 here, you'll see that that formula, G13 times G8, if we use our auditing toolbars, is an exact copy of the one to the left of it, shown like that. In a similar way, the little copy indicates that this cell is an exact copy of the one above it. So for example, if we look at cell F14, and we go to our spreadsheet in cell F14, you'll see that that is equal to E5, where, where we look at where that's looking, and we compare it to the one above, you'll see that is looking at E4. So this is an exact copy of that cell, it's just been copied down. The plus sign indicates that this cell is an exact copy of the one above and the one to the left. So in this case, in cell H14, if we go to that here, just clear the auditing toolbar, this formula, if we look at what it's looking at, is exactly the same as if you'd taken this formula and copied it down, or alternatively, you could have taken this formula and copied it across and the exact same formula would have existed at this cell. So what does this mean? 
just quickly removing the auditing toolbar arrows resetting that we can now look at the maps and see where some sort of inconsistency exists that we need to investigate so just looking closely here it would be interesting to know why there's a f two formulas then suddenly it's copied and then there's a formula so I'm going to quickly look at that one it would be also interested to know why there's a formula copied all the way across and then suddenly there's a new formula I want to look at this formula and see why there's a formula and then a number so we've got a formula copied formula number so let me just highlight that and then in general whatever's left over we should look at if we want to get a thorough review of the spreadsheet I'm just going to expand the spreadsheet so that we can see more of the spreadsheet while we look at the maps and now we can start working through the spreadsheet to understand what the map is telling us so for example the map here in cell F13 tells us there's a unique formula so if we go to F13 we can see that it's referring to cell E4 when we look you'll see it's a selling price per unit looking at the initial selling price per unit we can then see there's a new formula here so if we go next door you'll see it's telling us there's another formula slightly different when we look at it you'll see what it's doing is taking the previous cell and adding inflation onto it to get to the 105 which is fine and you'll see then it's copied across so this should be a copy when you check it again you'll see it's looking at the previous cell and then looking at the five percent so we can just clear those however now we've suddenly got a new formula when we look at that formula we discover that instead of looking at the 5% for some reason it's now looking at the 7% and this would be a concern the question would be should it still have looked at the 5% or is this stray cell sitting here the 7% correct you need to look at the last cell as well so you'll see cell J13 if we look at it and we see what it's looking at you'll see now it goes back to looking at the previous cell and using the 5% it goes back here so the question is this looks like this potentially is an error however it's useful to note both of them because either this is wrong or this is wrong so it's quite important to note them it is also useful once you have completed a section just to note that you have looked at it so in this case I'm going to just change these to another color just to identify that they have been looked at we can now move on to the next section so you'll see the next thing I want to investigate is why there's a formula here in J18 which is different from cell F18 so the trick is first to look at cell F18 and understand what it is doing it's the cost of sales calculation if we look you'll see what it is doing is taking the total revenue and multiplying it by 1 minus the GP percentage for the year so that will give you the cost of sales and you'll see it's copied all the way across and then for some reason in J18 that changes so let's investigate J18 and see what it's looking at and you'll see suddenly now instead of looking at the revenue and then looking straight up it is now looking at the revenue and going one back for some reason and this potentially presents a problem so I'm gonna just going to identify that one as well now what you might notice is that in this case because the GP percentage per year is 30% all the way along this number actually won't be wrong however the formula is wrong so if someone using the spreadsheet decided that for the last year they're going to change this number the spreadsheet would not correctly reflect this calculation and again because we've now looked at this row we just identify here and we make sure we know what we've looked at we can now look at this row where what we have here is formula that seems to be copied across then a new formula and a number so going back to the spreadsheet just removing the auditing toolbars we go to this cell you'll see this is less operating expenses including marketing if we see what it's doing you'll see here it's taking the operating expenses 
and then adding a marketing expense so it uses that 20 percent we can see that it's copied across twice and then in cell i for some reason there's a new formula so let's see what's happening there now what you'll see is same thing it's taking the the operating expenses however the operating expenses it is taking is not the current year but for some reason it's looking forward one year so that potentially is a problem I just want to highlight it and then to finish that row you'll see that there's it indicates there's a number here so when I click on that cell you'll see that we actually have a number here there's no formula now again that represents a problem because the person using the spreadsheet may make changes to any of these inputs and would expect the formula to adjust for it and in this case that would not adjust simply because it is a number it doesn't know it needs to adjust you have now looked through the areas that obviously intrigued us in the maps you can just highlight that you have now identified a number of cells that need clarification if you were the developer you would know whether these are right or wrong if however another person is a developer you need to document these cells and ask whether these are right or wrong or the way it was intended it is also important to remember that you haven't completely reviewed the spreadsheet yet if you look at the map again you'll see you've looked at that row that row and that row however to get complete comfort of the spreadsheet you need to look at all the unique formulas so you need to investigate that formula that formula and these formulas and make sure that they are correct just because they are copied across doesn't mean that that one is not a problem formula and the copy the entire copy is also incorrect the extent to which you go to complete reviewing the spreadsheet is dependent on your available time and where you are in the review process if you're going to still run the test reports then you don't need to look at these yet however if you're running out of time or you just want to complete a simple spreadsheet just on the maps then I suggest that you look at these unique formulas get comfort that they are correct and color them or tick them off on a piece of paper to make sure that every unique formula in your spreadsheet is operating correctly.